Hi, welcome to my second video uh, on the Raised 3D Pro 2. I'm going to review a few things and then focus on the uh, custom dry feed box. Uh, this is my workstation. Originally I had it set up in my office. Uh, it wasn't a problem there except that uh, printing is sort of a messy affair and I end up with a lot of bits of filament everywhere so I decided to dedicate a bench to it inside the workshop area. In my last video I talked about the uh, copper heat sinks. thought I would just show you know the original aluminum hot sink for comparison. Uh, it was air cooled and the new ones are liquid cooled. I won't go over that entirely, but uh, I'm going to show my top cover in place. Uh, we put extensions on ours almost initially because the Bowden tubes rubbed on top of the cover. And uh, my friend and colleague thought he saw an impact uh, of those on the prints. So we made risers. There's nothing too fancy here, probably more than needed. And since I added the water-cooled lines, which are a little bit heavier, uh, they don't come anywhere near the top anyway, so I may put a do a test and see if uh, the extra weight is creating a problem on the prints, but honestly at this point my prints look great. Uh, I bring my tubes, water tubes, straight out under the edge, so I created these little lifts, just a little STL file. Uh, in most cases you need a little bit of air to get in there anyway. And then the uh, cooling system uh, the pump and radiator are from E3D. They do not supply the tub, uh, the copper fittings, or the bracket that I mounted everything on. Uh, I'm going to uh, change the water soon, just on principle, and I've got a silver coil to go in the water to uh, deal with any microbes. Uh, some of the other things that I've done in quick review is I changed the build sheet out to the Gecko Tech hot stick. Stuff's unbelievable. Everything sticks to it, sometimes almost too well. But uh, I haven't touched a glue stick since I put this on here. Very, very pleased, and it's cheaper than the replacement that is offered by Raise 3 d Also, for a quicker view, I did uh, create this duplex extension cord with the switch, which I plug in the uh, printer as well as the little power brick that uh, powers up the pump and fan on the E3D cooling system. Uh, that way I can turn on everything with one switch and not forget to turn on the water. There's uh, the Gecko Tech people. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to focus now on the feed box. This came out of the need for keeping filaments dry, uh, making it easier to change filaments. Uh, we had some uh, standalone systems which were functional but a real nuisance for changing out filaments. So it's constructed out of 3 8 inch uh, plexiglass uh, screwed together a real thin coating of uh, silicon uh, as tacked as a gasket uh, mounted a very inexpensive uh, relative humidity gauge and temperature gauge inside. Uh, uh, latches which are adjustable uh, adhesive, one-sided adhesive foam for a gasket for the door. I have two latches. These parts are off a McMaster car. The spools rest on two 5 16 inch shafts. Uh, at this point, the two primary feed rollers, uh, as you can see, I've got PLA, white PLA, and the 3DX Carbon Tech, Carbon X in uh, the two feed locations and my Bowden tubes have been extended and brought down into the interior so it makes it really easy to get the filament up through there. Drying is provided by the Evadry desiccant which has an indicator. I've got an, an, a printed holder to keep it in place. Down underneath there's a 7 watt strip heater They're used for uh, aquariums for lizards and that sort of thing. It just keeps the interior slightly warm. Uh, it's on full time. It's on full time. And it's just warm to the touch. 
I do have uh, bearings. I've locked the two center ones in one location. I have little sliders on the others. Uh, the pull from the extruder is pretty good, and I, I know that it would work without bearings, but somehow it just seems more appropriate to have the bearings. Uh, they're all easy to get and fairly inexpensive. Uh, the design of the door uses a piano hinge. The gasketing is into a groove which is milled into the door, but I've given that some thought. It might not be necessary to do that. It would make it easier to build if you don't have machine shop equipment, which I do have. Um, let's see if I've missed anything. The box is, uh, sits right on the bottom inside surface of the Raze 3D Pro 2 and the little pieces of aluminum screw through the gaps where the old spool holders were to hold it in place. I've got a little bit of a gap on the back side where the door used to be and I put in a thin piece of plastic so that can close up uh, if desired. So that's uh, pretty much the system. It works extremely well. It makes it super easy to change out filaments. As you can see, it'll store six rolls quite easily. And uh, of course, there are other containers, all gasketed, some with heaters, uh, to keep open filaments still dry. Probably going to make uh, drawings available for this. I may ask for a modest uh, fee so I can cover some of my own expenses. And uh, in the interest of all Pro 2 owners, I can say that I now have a system which appears to be quite reliable and far easier and less hassle to use than the way I received it from the factory. Feel free to uh, drop me in line with any questions. Thanks for watching.